I'd like to welcome you to the syllabus video for First Corinthians for the spring of 2017. And, uh, my name is Dr. Brian Tucker. I'll be your instructor for the course. And uh, so if you'll grab a copy of your syllabus off a of blackboard and we're going to walk through it and talk about uh, the expectations for the course. I don't go over the syllabus in class. We just jump right into the teaching. So uh, hopefully you'll have uh, listened to this before class. Class starts tomorrow uh, from when I'm doing this video tomorrow January 10th and it goes from 7.50 to 10.30 p.m. And uh, so uh, you should have the syllabus version 1 uh, in front of you. And a couple things to keep in mind, uh, my office hours are Tuesday and Thursday from 1 to 1.50. Uh, that doesn't mean that I'm uh, not available otherwise. It just means those are the times when I'll be at my desk and can be reached quickly for phone calls or emails. Uh, but uh, you can catch me different times I'm here pretty much every day uh, you know the one challenge will be um, am I available before class for this evening class um, right now my schedule is going to have me off campus quite a bit before class and so um, uh, we need to plan ahead for any any kind of meetings like that and don't assume that I, I would be available uh, just keep that in mind I know that's not an issue for some of you because you're in class uh, prior to this um, but just keep that in mind. All right, so now that you have a copy of your syllabus, let's uh, look at this. Uh, the course is analysis of 1 Corinthians uh, in order to understand the historical situation in ancient Corinth and to discover the significance of the text for believers today. It includes a study on the nature of New Testament ministry, church discipline, sex, marriage, divorce, Christian liberties, women in the church, uh, the Lord's Supper, spiritual gifts and tongues, and resurrection. Additional attention paid to various methods and approaches uh, to the book and obviously specifically uh, with uh, social scientific uh, criti critical approaches <clears throat> in my work with uh, identity formation. Prerequisites, you should have hermeneutics, New Testament history, literature, and theology done as well. In other words, I assume those basics, we build on those. In terms of uh, objectives, be familiar with the content of 1 Corinthians. I'll be able to explain key verses throughout the text be able to articulate the theological significance of various passages in the modern church, develop greater skill in theological research, and make tentative conclusions concerning contemporary church issues. So as you can tell, there's a kind of an equal interest of what the text had to say and then what are the implications for us today, especially in church-focused ministry settings. In terms of the text, we'll be using Mark Taylor's uh, 1 Corinthians uh, textbook. Uh, commentary uh, and uh, that is available in Lagos and it should be available should included a part of your Moody uh, student uh, login uh, or log login material and then uh, my book remaining the calling uh, following the continuation of social identities in first Corinthians and uh, I know that some of the parts uh, have Greek in it um, but uh, those that don't have Greek will be able to navigate that just kind of gloss over it and jump right in you should be able to follow it with no problem and then the Lagos Bible software, uh, the Moody Lagos Library, which again should have uh, the First Corinthians commentary available for you. All right, requirements. Um, the exam is 50% and the position paper is 50%. Uh, the exam it will be a final exam covering reading material. Uh, you are to read completely First Corinthians three times during the semester. Uh, so uh, so the final exam will cover the reading material, class notes, and the lectures. Uh, the exam will focus on the recognition of central content to 1 Corinthians, chapter identifications, Corinth's Roman context, and key scholarly debates concerning the letter relevant to the church, that for contemporary church issues. It covers outcomes A, B, and E. The exam uh, have uh, has the uh, outside of class portion has three parts uh, 20 question, questions on key content uh, 10 short answers and five essays uh, but um, you'll have to complete those and upload those uh, before the due date all right so uh, I'll actually upload the exam uh, for you here in a minute and you'll have that. 
The standard for the correct answers uh, first uh, is um, Taylor, and then um, that kind of builds down from that. But uh, those questions should uh, will be built on Taylor. Okay, and let's keep that in mind. In other words, if you haven't done all the reading in Taylor, you're going to have a hard time uh, getting the correct answer for those. Position paper. Write a position paper on one of the following areas. Uh, church discipline, 1 Corinthians 5, 1 to 13. Divorce and remarriage, 1 Corinthians 7, 10 to 16. Women in the church, 1 Corinthians 12, or 11, or 11, 2 to 16. And 14, 34, 35. And the gift of tongues, 1 Corinthians 12 to 14. This paper should be well researched. Six to eight pages in length, single spaced, and correspond to Turabian guidelines. If students have already written on any of these subjects in other courses. You cannot reuse that material to satisfy this requirement. Other topics may be pursued with the approval of the professor, um, but it is unlikely that I'm going to divert from any of these four. So you'd have to make a strong case, and I'm most likely at that point still going to say no. Uh, these are four areas that uh, we want covered in the OMDIF curriculum. And, uh, and that's the reason why these are, have been chosen. Uh, no late papers will be accepted. Uh, you're preparing for ministry, and ministry relies on deadlines, and uh, so you uh, do not have the option to turn these in late. It's requirements related to objectives B through D. You can check those. Uh, grading scales, the standard grading scale, um, attendance policy, uh, attendance is expected. Uh, final grade was reduced one level for any unexcused absence, um, and beginning with a second unexcused absence. Uh, you should contact me before, but contacting me before doesn't mean you get an excused absence no matter what. All that is saying is that you're doing your due diligence to let me know that you're not going to be there. So I'm not surprised and wondering why you're not in class. Make sure you read the student handbook uh, with the specific policies with regard to missing class and what you can or not expect to get. Uh, from that as well. Plagiarism, uh, especially with topics as, as generic as some of these position papers, church discipline, divorce, remarriage, women in the church, and get your tongues, you could be tempted to uh, pull material from other places. Um, so resist that temptation. Uh, the assignments are run through um, a, a checker uh, for pl plagiarism. Uh, no recording uh, of class lectures in any form. So uh, this is a non-negotiable for me. This is it's crucial for us to have free flow of discussion and interaction in class, especially with the touchy topics that we deal with in this course. So um, we need there to be a sense of, uh, of a community between all of us and interacting. If there's learning disability, make sure you've contacted me uh, uh, to begin the course to know about that. With regard to the MDiv outcomes, uh, this focuses on the part that says express knowledge of the content of the Bible. So we'll be doing a lot with the content of 1 Corinthians. Again, late policies uh, listed there for you, uh, though I do not uh, accept late work as I mentioned for the assignment. Uh, no food in class, no social media, no smartphone use. There's no food brought in class. Water bottles, coffee, and soda are acceptable. Uh, but uh, please plan your eating during the breaks or before class, especially those of you that are that are in it for the long haul on Tuesdays. I know some of you are taking an afternoon or early evening or a late one. You've got that block of time. That's when you eat uh, before class, not uh, in class. Um, if you do, I'm going to point it out. I'm, uh, it's straightforward in my syllabus, so please respect that. Also, checking social media and your smartphone is inappropriate during the class. Uh, your laptop or tablet is only for taking notes and accessing Bible software, not to be checking Facebook and, uh, and emails. Uh, I can see uh, you're doing that, and it's obvious you get your nose buried in. And it, you're, you're only here for a couple of hours, and you're going to miss a lot of good content when you get sidetracked. So if you feel the temptation there is too strong, then just uh, uh, come up with something else besides taking notes from the, your computer. All right, uh, the uh, schedule. Uh, starts uh, on January 10th, right with the introductory material. Uh, again, I don't spend any time on the syllabus. We don't waste any of our in-class time. I start right in with the lecture material. Uh, and then you have uh, the, your reading assignment that's due, and you can see that listed there for you. 
Uh, so we'll do the first uh, few weeks in 1 Corinthians 1 to 4, then three weeks in 5 to 7, a couple weeks in 8 to 10, three weeks in 11 to 14, then a couple weeks in 15 to 16. Uh, these may fluctuate a little bit based on uh, interactions, uh, but uh, that'll generally give you an idea how, how we're moving along. All right, you have the bibliography uh, that's listed there for you. And the grading rubric for the final exam and the position paper. Make sure you take time to, to read those. Uh, on the exam, uh, there is a temptation to uh, try to work on this exam too soon. Make sure that you take your time, uh, but you don't start on, on those uh, questions uh, too early, uh, lest you find yourself having to revise later and uh, then you forget. So uh, that's up to you. You have to organize yourself as to when you work on the uh, outside of class exam portion. There is an in-class uh, exam uh, portion that occurs on the uh, last uh, um, day of class uh, on April 18th. So you will upload uh, the material that I'm giving you here. Uh, that gets uploaded uh, to Blackboard and then there will be a in-class portion uh, that will be discussed uh, later on. So you want to make sure you're taking good notes uh, for all of that material. And uh, more on that as the class uh, develops. Well, uh, hopefully you're looking forward to the class. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting to teach the class. Uh, this is my uh, primary area of writing and research. I just uh, submitted a uh, book, Reading First Corinthians to the publisher a week and a half ago and I have a full 150,000 word commentary on 1st Corinthians uh, due to the publisher in two years and uh, so you'll be hearing a lot of that in class uh, but I look forward to uh, your interaction and letting you see some of that material as well as uh, interacting with the material that I've already published uh, so hopefully uh, you're excited about the class and uh, I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday the 10th